Hey guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs. Welcome back to, I suppose, the rate right, the transfer rumor show. And this was um a lot of people wanted this, and you have to give the people what they want sometimes, Daz, don't you? Yes, you do. You really do. Listen to the people, and here we are. So this is a show where we rate the transfers between one and ten, guys. Ten being highly likely, one being highly unlikely. I'm going to throw a few names out to Daz. Some of these might be rumours. Some of them might actually be happening. Who knows? That's why we're here. And Daz is going to give his uh, <laughs> rating out of 10. Right, I Daz, have no idea. Off. I have no idea who these players are. He never okay. tells me who they're going to be. So it's pure, purely reaction. It's brilliant. So first of all, we're going to start off with a UCD man who hasn't kicked the ball all season because he's been injured. Sam Todd to Derry City. Former Fim Hearts man, of course. Center back, twenty two years of age, has has been injured all season. To be fair, what are you thinking there? I like it. Um, a good place to start off with, I suppose. A dependable center back. Um, experience enough in the league for his age. It's always done well with UCD. This could be one I could see happening, but the fact that he's been injured and hasn't played it kind of puts a spanner in the works. Like, do you sign a player so late in the season? That has to really kick the ball, or they let him play with UCD for the remaining games, and everybody comes back and then pick him up. So, I I think because of that reason, I, I would probably put it at a five. Because if I was Derry, I wouldn't be signing a player who's injured like that. I'd let him finish the season out with mm -hmm. UCD, unless I knew other teams were coming around sniffing. Because if he's contracted with UCD, they're going to have to pay their feet. So who knows? That kind of puts a you know another spanner in it as well. They pay a fee or get him on a free. So I put that as a five. It'd be interesting seeing it'd be a good move for him, but I just don't see him starting for Derry should he move there. Mm, I don't think you'd be paying a fee for him, but anyway, it'd be five out of ten you're giving for this one. All right. Five. So next up we've got a man the Bohemians fans would have loved a few years ago. He moved away to England, has had his injury problems. Danny Grant, who's now available. Oh, have you yes. seen that one? Very good player, but had a lot of injuries. How, how do you think that's likely now? He was playing the conference, remember, last time as well. Yes, I I do think this is likely. I I, I loved Danny Grant when he played with balls. He was just brilliant. I was at his debut, I was looking at him thinking, this is a player. This he is class. He went over to England, Huddersfield, you know, they were a Premier League team at the side. He was quite young, he's still young now, but he was young when he moved over. Injuries, hamper injuries, play down in the Conference League, like you said. He's now a free agent. And I think if he's going to come back to Ireland, what better club to come to than the one you left, like Bowes? Like, we, the fans would love him back. Covers, you know? huh? No, 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 no. I don't even mention that kid. No, I don't think he'd do that. Absolutely no way. But I think he could feel right. If he can rediscover this, the form he had with Bowes before he left, what a player we'll have. Explosive, energetic, fast, pace. Like an attacker, like someone we really, really need. Uh, I'm gonna put this at seven out of ten. Um, I do think it's likely to happen, but I do think he's gonna examine his options. Should a team in England come calling for him, he'll probably go to them. And for that reason, I would put it at a seven because I do think he's gonna try and hold out for an English team. Obviously, all of them are in their preseason at the minute, so who knows? Like you know, he could be going and training or on trials of clubs in England. And if not, I'd love to see him back at Bowes. I'd have him back with open arms. What a player would be, what a signing would be. Obviously, a risk with injuries, but I, I, I'd like to think it's likely. But a seven, because I do think he's taken time to access his options. So I put it as a seven out of ten. But Danny, if you're watching this video, absolutely please come back. You'd be absolutely loved back at Bowes. Good time we're going, Danny. Um, moving to. Another North Dublin club, this time Talca Park, and uh, obviously they have a link now with Hull City. Jevin Mills, 18-year-old centre-back, uh, a Hull link to the move, possible loan move to Shelburne. You're going to see a lot of that, probably in terms of links, but yeah. how likely is that going to happen? Shelburne, quite strong as centre-back, um, so doing another one, I suppose. You know yeah, that? I suppose, you know, Shelburne play with three at the back, so you're going to need if you play a three to back, in my opinion, you're going to need five centre backs who can start, so you can have a bit of rotation, injury, suspensions. But the fact that there's you no know, what quarter of the season left to play, there's not too many more games to go. I could see this happening because it could, you know, you could take the loan in at St. Pat's, play in, you know, a team full of men who are full of seasoned senior players, get the experience, and go back to full. 
I very well could see this happening. And like you said, it will be a lot of interest from Hull and from teams. I'd probably put this one key at a six out of ten. Um, it's just it's something that's came up that I haven't really heard about. He's a very young player, obviously. He's only 18, 19. You know, he's with Hull's young, young team. It would be his first senior move. Um, he's, He has to play the senior game for Hull as far as I know. So it'd be his first senior move and, mm. you know, bring an 18, 19 year old over into your first team or even to be around the first team was obviously, it's a big thing for the club and the player. But I'd welcome it. I'd like to see it. And I think it could only add to Shelburne's team. And if it doesn't work out, they've tried. But you could very easily find a gem in that team. A category two academy, you know, they are producing players. It'd be interesting to see. So i put it as a six. And he's Irish as well. So because I, I watched Hull in England. They'd be my, my English team. I was to pick one. And that's probably another factor in that link, the fact that he's Irish as well. So yeah, that's six out of ten. Yeah, I mean, a bit of a theme with the Danny Grant de Bowles one as well is that um, a former player has been linked with a move back to his club and that's Daryl Horgan being linked back to to Dundalk and obviously he he was part of their success story under Stephen Kenny as well and he, he's played a few times for Ireland, etc. And was he at Wickham last time out? Wickham? Yeah, he was a, yeah, yeah. With yeah. strong Benway. <laughs> yeah, so um, how do you see that one? Do you think Horgan could make his way back to, to Dundalk and the Lily Whites? I'd certainly love to see it. I think he would. Did you give your rating for the last one, by the way, just to interrupt? And yeah, for that one. You did. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think as well, you know, he's an ex Irish international. He had some serious success with Dundalk. Did well for himself in England. He got a good few, you know, he's playing in the Championship, playing in League One, playing at a good level, oh, played a lot. Of games. Well. And one thing I like about this too, Key, is no disrespect to when Damien Duff came back. But he was done. His legs were gone. He couldn't move. He was terrible when he came back. Mm. It would be good to see Irish internationals coming back when they, when they can still play, when they can still move and add to the squad and add to the team. And if he was to come back now, he'd be coming back at a good time. You know, fighting for Europe, chance to go into Europe. He can still be probably one of the best players at the club, one of the best players in the league. Um, If Dundalk had the financial muscle, absolutely, I could see it happening. And he's loved at the club, loved by all the fans, and he's loved throughout the league. So... I I would put this one at a five. The reason why I'm putting this so low is because I I do think he'll want to stay in England for another year or two. He's still he's not too old yet, um, and I still think he could do a job in League One, League Two, on some good money. So I just don't see the move happen just yet. But I would like to see if I was a Dundalk fan, I would welcome back and he would strengthen the league. Yeah, interesting stuff. There's two more now and. Uh... This one is, um, we know the Bohemians are looking for a right back and they need a right back badly, don't they? We know they've gone into the Polish markets and been, I would say, fairly successful, the two they've brought in. A right back called Bart, now I'm going to butcher the second name, Bart Kuluowicz. I'll put it up anyway, the name, so people can see the name. I'm not Polish, lads, just in case you're wondering. I can't pronounce those names. I mean, I'll do well to pronounce Riley if I'm lucky. But um, yeah, interesting. Former Legia Warsaw player. I mean... If he can have an impact like the two centre halves could have, then he'd be good signing. But interesting stuff that Bowles might be exploring the Polish market further. Yeah, look, we we obviously you do need a right much. back badly, by the way, don't they as well? You don't have a right back at the club. You know, you're putting Horton there, you're putting Keith Buckley there. We don't have a nursery right back, and it's a serious weakness that I highlighted at the start of the season that I just wasn't happy about going into the season. Jay Ben there, but um, he's gone back and he only played a handful of games anyway, didn't he? Oh yeah, he only played a handful of games. Like you know, it's a serious problem that we have. Like who do you put there? Like there's no named on start position every week there, and it's a problematic position of ours. And I think teams are going to try and exploit it. But I suppose going back to the player, look, I don't know much about the Polish market. The only thing I do know is the two players he brought in have done brilliant for us. They are two top players. They've they've played very well for Bowes. They have a good partnership, and they've really came into the league and they're very very well. They don't look out of place to me. They look very very strong in the league. If we can match that way another right back, we'll have a very good right back on our hands. Of course, it's just hearsay and I'm going on judging from the other two lads. He could be not great at all or he could be even better. But I would really hope that, you know, if they've done the homework on him and, you know, he's played at the same level that these two other boys have played at, that he can still be really good in this league. And I would really like to see it. Um, I, as I said, I don't know anything about the player, but I have seen this rumour float around in the last week or two. I I would put this one quite high. I, I would put this one at 8 out of 10. I do believe we're looking for a right back. I do think we'll go back to the Polish market. I think it's something that we will explore. And it's a no, it's no doubt that we need 
bodies. We need a right back at the club. We've lost one. We need to bring one in. And so I would rather us go out and get one in there than try another young lad from England that this might not work out. Um, I think if you played in the Polish league, you've got a good few games in your belt, you're middle-aged. I think you should be capable of playing in the League of Ireland like the other two boys have shown. So, yeah, I put this one high. I put it 8 out of 10. I hope it happens soon if we do get him. I'll get him into the team. I think it'd be brilliant signing verse. Um, Yeah, 8 out of 10. Yeah, we're going up north now and I suppose saving the best to last. And, uh, All right. Another, another Irish international, former Irish international, has had his injury problems as well. Is is At the moment, is unattached. Um, Derry City could do with a striker. Sean Maguire to Derry City. Oh, geez. Wow. What a, what a coup that would be for Derry if they got Johnny Maguire. Wow. Like, that would be, that'd be one of the top signs now you would have seen in a long, long, long time. Like, obviously, when he was in the League of Ireland, he, he did so well with Cork. He did so well with Dundalk. Derry have money. Um, I could only really see him going to Dundalk, possibly. Shamrock Rovers or Derry. I think it's going to be either one of them three teams, but you know, he's went to Dundalk now, to be fair. But anyway. Yeah, but you've said he's been he's been linked with mm. Derry. Derry. Derry obviously have money. So and he's you know, he's not he's not over, he's not really old either. I think he's 30 years old now, you know, he's not that he's not too old. He's been in and out of that pressing team, he's playing on the wings, he's playing behind the striker. He'd be a nail on starter, he'd be one of the best players on paper. But again, Kate, like I said, with the other few players, would he want to come back so early? Most players leave it till they're 33, 34 to come back. Like he's not, he hasn't reached that just yet. So I, I think that that might put the rating down a little bit for that reason. But he's actually 29. I, but I think the point is, is that he's had so many injury problems as well. Is he likely to get a decent deal England, in, in, in England, even, so to speak? Um, that nearly Derry could be the best club in terms of wages, believe it or not, with the injuries he's had. Would clubs yeah. take a chance on him over in England and give him a higher wage, knowing that he's a bit injury prone? Like, you know, that's yeah. kind of like as well. I, I, I suppose Derry could, could have potentially match the wages of what a top league one club is going to offer you. So, would you rather play with Derry in the League of Ireland and be challenged near the top and going into Europe and flying away to all these other places, going up against different continental clubs? Or playing in League One and having a way it is like Sutton United and all. I think I know I would prefer I'd rather play for, for Derry, maybe, you know, if they're if they're going off the same money. And I think for that reason I put this one high. I would put that at seven out of ten. It'd be very interesting to see. I don't see Sean McGuire putting on a a green jersey for the boys in green anytime soon. I think them days are gone for him. I don't think a championship club are gonna come in for him. Like you said, he has had his injury worries. He's played in the championship for a number of years now. He did well at the start when he went over. He got to I play think for he'd Ireland. Do, he'd even do well if he managed to get a League One club if he managed to switch it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So I would yeah. put this one high. I, I would love to see him back in the league. He'd make the profile go back up and he'd be a great sign for Derry. He'd be brilliant for Derry. On paper, anyway. <laughs> I'd put a 7 out of 10. I'd like to see it happen for Derry. Well, stuff, Dad. Thanks very much for that. Interesting stuff. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments. If you What you think of these transfer rumours? Um, give us a rating out of 10. Anything else if you've heard, let us know in the comments as well. Like the video if you like the content. Subscribe if you're new. And hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Cheers, Dad. Cheers, Keith.